Malou Chavez of the Northwest Immigrants' Rights Project spent Saturday morning updating their Know Your Rights fact sheet. An issue that felt especially pressing with word of large immigration raids slated to start Sunday in major U.S. cities. At least 10 cities will be targeted um, for this potential raid um, of 2,000 families. And she wants people to be prepared. If Seattle's not listed, it doesn't mean it, nothing is going to happen. Around noon, President Trump tweeted the raids were delayed to see if the Democrats and Republicans can get together. If not, deportations start, he wrote. Mayor Durkin, County Executive Dow Constantine, and Representative Pramila Jayapal issued a joint statement condemning the raids. The political decision to order ICE raids will distract and drain resources from real public safety threats and will cause widespread fear and uncertainty for all immigrants in their daily lives, they wrote, saying tying raids to money for the border is hostage-taking. We understand that there is already fear in communities, and when messages like this go out, it just creates this heightened fear. Fear, she says, that causes more problems. Lower cooperation with law enforcement may happen. We may see victims of crimes not choosing not to report a crime. Um, we may see people not going to school, sending their kids to school, or potentially not going to work. ICE officials have said it's not about creating fear, but upholding the rule of law. Chavez wants people to save this form and be prepared. People still need to remember what their rights are and to have a number for an attorney. Michael Crow, King 5 News.